We went on a trip and we want to know exactly how far did we go. Given our speed and the time that passed by, all we have to do is multiply. I like going on trips in my jet plane. If I fly at 844 kilometers an hour, how far can I go in six hours? I'll give you a hint. If you're stuck, you can use the formula. The distance I travel equals the length of time I spend traveling multiplied by my speed. If Green travels at 844 kilometers per hour, in one hour he covers a distance of 844 kilometers. But then he travels another hour, so we have to add another 844 kilometers. Then another hour, and another 844 kilometers. We have to repeat this process six times, because that's the number of hours he spends traveling. We end up with six groups of 844. We could use repeated addition to add them up, but a quicker way is to solve the equivalent multiplication problem. 6 times 844. Let's do it. Draw a tall box. The first number, 6, only has one digit, so we only need one column. Divide it into three rows, because the second number, 844, has three digits. Now, draw a diagonal line through each of the smaller boxes. Write 6 at the top of the box, and 844 down the right-hand side of the box. Next, multiply and fill in the blanks. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 4 is 24. And 6 times 4 is 24. Next, add up the numbers along the diagonals. 4 4 plus 2 is 6 8 plus 2 is 10 Write 0 and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now, read off the answer. 5, 0, 6, 4. So if Green travels at 844 kilometers an hour for 6 hours, he covers a total distance of 5064 kilometers. That's almost the distance between Melbourne and Port Hedland. Now that's a long trip, isn't it? <laughs>